What's good, everybody? Um, Grill Filla here once again with the demolition game. Um, I'm using the Vector Extended Mags with a M1014, and I'm pretty sure I already told you guys that I'm gonna be doing a lot of shotgun. Yeah, and the Favela Nuke. I said how a lot of my classes have shotguns. And real quick, I want to say, have you guys noticed how my colors have changed? Starting with the Favela Nuke. Um, I was starting using the color corrector on Vegas a lot more, so that's why the coloring on my videos may be like a little bit more intensified or something a little different. And right there, I don't understand how I lost that gunfight. Very mad, but I always get my payback. Got my payback. Yep. So um, if you can notice, like the my color settings are a little bit different. The green, that green was really bright on that flare. My reds are pretty intense, and yeah, I do a lot of different stuff. And there's kind of a greenish, bluish tint on a lot of things, but I don't know. I'm just messing around with it. Um, I'm not super. Uh, I'm not getting super into it. I just want to see what looks cool and see if you guys like it. So, tell me if you guys like that. And then, um, so yeah, me and also the bailout. You guys haven't seen any bailout for me. I don't think that's because none of my friends have the map packs except like Thizant and. A soccer fan obviously has it, which is also a soccer fan. Five one is my friend. This is my friend in this game, and um, so I've been playing a lot of these lately because not my not a lot of my friends play as much anymore. So it's basically like me and this aunt, and then we usually have like one or maybe two other people, but it's usually me and this aunt holding it down. And me and this aunt are both pretty good. All right, here I was telling this guy to plant the bomb because he was behind it, and I couldn't plant it on that side, which is the side I wanted to plant on, so I didn't get shot like I just did. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know, I hate that. Get a mic. If you don't have a mic, guys, get a mic. Use a cell phone mic if you don't have an Xbox mic. Just get something so you can communicate with your team. But like I was saying, me and Thizan, we basically hold it down, me and him. We can, we play Dominations and Demolitions, and we win a lot more often than we lose, so. Me and him have been using tactics, like, uh, in Domin- Because, pretty much, it's me and him, and it always ends up four of, like, the worst people in Call of Duty happen to be on our team. Right here, I'm not camping. I can hear these guys. That's why I was hiding that corner because I heard the guy behind me. And then I call my UAV, and then I see them starting to come into this area. So that's why I stay here. Don't consider this camping. I knew where they were all coming and where they were gonna be. And <clears throat> yeah, so in uh, domination, we played some dominations where what we do is we both run C4 and like some explosives maybe, and we have marathon on. And um, we basically we can defend our back flags. Or metal flags. We each we put us whoever just dies and the other person puts C4 on. I'll be quiet real quick. I want you guys to hear this. Switching sides. <laughs> yeah, that's this ant being a little goon. But anyways, um, what we're doing in domination earlier today, we were uh, we were basically just putting C4s on flags and defending them like that and it was just basically me and him holding down the entire game by ourselves uh, just with the help of C4s and some explosives and uh, right here in the gameplay uh, I saw like two guys come out that doorway I killed the first guy and ran away and the guy planted so I killed him real quick and then I was expecting that third guy to come down and then there he was I, I think someone else picked him off but so they keep looking at the bomb because they figured someone's about to be defusing and they keep they all like jumped off the same exact way and I thought that was pretty funny but uh, <laughs> ran out of ammo right there so I tried picking up that spaz 12 to kill that guy because he was just standing there but I didn't have enough time to pull out my uh, shotgun but the good thing about the vector is it seems to um to come up and like when you pull out your secondary or you have a secondary that's not like a pistol uh, the vector switches to that gun uh, a lot faster it seems like than most guns if you guys didn't know snipers do definitely take the most time than like a, I'm pretty sure after yeah it's snipers then LMGs then assault rifles then uh, SMGs I'm pretty sure and like the and that's an order of how long they take to switch to your non non handgun secondary and um, I heard that guy so I ran and kind of squatted and wait for him to walk into my gunfire. And I kind of assigned myself to assign to holding down A. That's how my attack inserts over there. 
but my team was doing nothing at B, so at the last second I came over, but they still got it. Their team was too far up on the bomb, and so I just decided I'll build another kill streak right here. That's why I kind of camped it up. Um, I have UAV, so I kind of knew where they're all at, anyways, and I could hear them because I do have a Sitrep Pro and um, and a headset. And if you have a headset, work on getting Sitrep Pro because that thing. That perk just makes, it quiets your footsteps and your teammates footsteps, first of all. Like it doesn't actually, it just makes them quieter in your own ears. They're not in reality quieter. <clears throat> but what it does is that helps you focus on the enemy's footsteps, which are also magnified. So you, hearing, it's basically just sound horning to the extreme, because you can hear their footsteps really easily. Plus you don't have the distraction of your enemies and your own footsteps, so. It's nothing great if you're going against people who are definitely noobish and you have a headset saying meaning that they're not using ninja, which you most of the time should be doing, especially if you're playing against experienced players, because they tend to have headsets a lot. So um you're gonna you're gonna wanna use ninja against more experienced players. And that's a, these guys' mistakes. Me and Ant uh, we're experienced, so we both have headsets. Like I said, experienced players tend to have the equipment that uh, that is necessary to own. But you should be running ninja if you're going against some tryhards. And then also you should be, if you're not, if you're going against these noobish people, you could tell. At first I kind of thought they were better because they had tenth. there's a lot of 10th procedures and stuff. And I know you shouldn't really judge people off if they're good off their rank and prestige because there could be um, like a level 9 or something and he could have been like... Uh, OG veteran. Oh my gosh, look at this. <laughs> I just jumped over that guy. He's probably shooting at my feet. And I kind of just jumped over his bullets and then took him out. But that was uh, some fast reaction. But, um, like I was saying, there could be some nen uh, level 9 or something non prestige. Just some, like, noob looking person. And they could have been, like, a COD 4, COD 2, World of War, OG. Like, they played all the Call of Duty, so. And or maybe there's someone who's 10th prestige on this on their other account and they made a new one so you can never really judge people off their things whether they're bad or good because even if they are a high prestige like say 10 or 9 doesn't mean they didn't get into a lobby so you never really know you definitely can't judge people you can't judge a book by its cover it has been said many times by great people but I came up on like the best care packages I could ever get because I love sentry guns they are my favorite kill streak. From Recently, they've become my favorite. I used to love the payload, but since I've been doing YouTube videos, I want to run three, four, five, just so it does less camping and more gun kills. That's basically what happens when you run lower kill streaks. And if I'm making videos, I want them to be more entertaining. And uh, right here was like a minute left, and I can't remember if I dropped my other sentry gun, but sentry guns seem to last about a minute, maybe a minute and a half, I don't know. But around minute, minute and a half time, so. Also pay attention in these game modes, any game mode you're playing, and the time and your kill streaks, because like, you know, hopefully you know chopper gunners and AC-130s last 40 seconds, so. If you're playing like Demolition, and you guys uh, are about to win the round, and it's like your last round, go ahead and call your stuff in. If it's um, if it's like 40 seconds, because then you can reassure that um, that the other team's not gonna be able to plant if you have a high 11 kill streak up, and um, pick up this guy's FAL and um, switch to the shotgun because, like I said, I'm making a shotgun montage and hopefully I could get like a little nice three piece or four piece and it didn't happen, but I killed those two guys and um, when I picked that up, I came to the, I got the idea or maybe I should um. I should use the under barrel shotgun for my shotgun montage just because I think it'll be a little funny and entertaining clips to see me going a little kill streak with that thing. But uh, here you go, 41 and 10. Demolition with the vector just murking berserking, bruh.